We never know ahead of time what Mad Dog and Merrill are making. So every time I walk out here and I look at the counter, it's always something so fun. I know. Look at Merrill's got aluminum foil. Oh, man. I'm going to make aluminum planes today. When I saw this, I just thought no one has ever done that before. No. You know what that this is? Made. Foil agami. Foil agami. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's my new therapy <laughs> program. <laughs> I'm addicted. You see the addiction program? I'm addicted to aluminum foil. <laughs> We're getting way off. I like winding that up and then sticking it in my tooth. You know where the filling is? You ever do that? <laughs> no, I've got a big, big potato. So I've got a box of rice. Oh, okay. okay. That chicken flavored rice. And I know it's got a little sodium in there probably. So I cooked this up last night. We're going to do some wonderful little hors d'oeuvres. So I want to put a little bit of our garlic grilling magic in there, which is a low sodium garlic pepper blend. Okay. Because I know there's sodium in here already. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of garlic pepper blend inside of there. I'm going to add a little bit of our spicy because we're going to do a great little hors d'oeuvre. This has a real habanero in it. Don't worry, dear. I won't get you. I know. Do you see me kind yeah, of I back up? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of the uh, uh, spicy barbecue sauce, one diced up jalapeno, one uh, diced up small onion. So I'm going to add that to my rice mixture. And then I'm going to add a can of black beans. All right. Is it weird that I would eat just that? Oh, I love it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. for God's sake, with a baked potato and sour cream, Absolutely. you got her made. Oh, so I'm going to mix this all together. And I've got one of these little plates by uh, that Weber makes with the perforated holes in the bottom. And I got those scoops. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to sit. And I'm just going to do one here. I'll let Meryl finish up what he's doing. I'm going to tediously pack each one of these. And I'm going to put a little bit of piece of string cheese on top of each one. I'm gonna have my I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my therapy today. Oh, you are. And then I'm gonna put them on the grill in direct cooking for about 15 minutes to warm them through. But it'll take until 2012 for him to. Be, I'm just <laughs> absolutely right. exactly. kidding. It it's gonna be, exactly. be worth it. I'll be I'll be 56 by then. It's gonna yeah, be worth it. What do you I got? Have, you know what? We're doing some ribs today. I'm doing some St. Louis style ribs. And I, and I brown these up first. You get asked a lot of times how you do ribs on the grill. I know we've done this, but I'm going to show you a good way. How do you do ribs on the grill? Might come out tough. Let me show you what they call a Texas crutch. I went ahead and oiled these ribs first with a little bit of olive oil. I used a rub today. Of course, I got a good old Grandma Hazel's rub is exactly what I had used today on this. Rub the rub completely into the ribs. Brown it up about five to six minutes on each side. I'm just going to go ahead and, and wrap these up in foil. And then I'm going to place them back on the grill, the indirect method of cooking, for approximately about an hour. Okay. And then I'm going to unwrap them, and then we're just going to grill them right back up again when we're done. Okay. So that's simple. Fantastic. That easy. You guys got kind of a busy day today. You're going to be in Manitowoc? Oh, we're going to be, if you folks are in the area of Manitowoc today, we're going to be, we'll leave directly from here. We'll be there from 10 until 1 at the Piggly Wiggly store. Foxes, Piggly Wiggly, and Manitowoc. We'll have our, our nice new cookbooks there. We've got our sauces and spices. And then we head to Old Creek, but that's a different story. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And yeah. then, of course, today at yeah. 930 on the CW, you yeah. guys got your, your yeah. Midwest right. Brunch. I know. To the wonderful folks of Brandon, we were in Brandon yesterday. We had a great time in Brandon. Yeah, way down below our brilliant and stuff. It was wonderful. That was awesome. great. Nice yeah. folks. Well, I can't wait to see how all this stuff turns out. I so, can't we're going to take a break now. You guys will be right okay. back.